This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. In this lesson, we'll continue discussing effects. If you'd like to follow along, go to File, Open, and in the sample files, choose 1605, Let's Get Glowing, and just click Open. This is actually a text frame that's been filled with red, but you can't see any lettering in it because it's also red-filled lettering. So at this point, you can't see any type. Let me just select this text frame with my selection tool by clicking on it, and I'm going to go to the Effects panel, and I'm going to apply an effect to the text listing by clicking on the text listing, and then go to my FX pop-up menu and go to something called Outer Glow. And as soon as I get my window out of the way here, you can see that outside of the red lettering, there is a slight glow. Let me increase the size. So you can see that the settings that are available here, we've all used for other effects at this point. So the blending mode is still screen because it's the best blending mode for glows. And the opacity is 75% by default, but if I wanted this to be more glowing, I could increase the opacity. Let me drag it back down to about 75. And there are different techniques. I could choose softer, which you're seeing here already, or I can use something called precise, which seems to be a little bit more glowing. Let me stay with that. I can increase the size, even more glowing. I could add noise, which makes it look less computer generated by adding a bit of texture. I could also spread the glow out from behind the lettering if I want, but you'll notice that in some of the letters I'm starting to see some white. Let me go back down to zero. Now I also wanted to apply a glow to the lettering itself, but the inside of the lettering. I could click OK and apply another effect to the text, but instead, being that I'm in the window already, let me just click on Inner Glow, and you can see it gets checked. And without having to go outside of this window, I can also do an Inner Glow to the text at the same time. The Blending Mode, you can see, is also screen, which makes sense. It's great for glows. And there's Opacity. For this, let me just go all the way up. I'm going to go to 100%. I'm going to want this as glowing as possible. But it's not the neon lettering I was expecting. And the reason is the source of the glow is the edge of the letters. Let me click down over here and go to Center. Whoa, that is really glowing. Let me change the size somewhat. But before I go there, let's try something else. I'm going to choke this in. So it's going to move the glow further into the lettering. Well, that's really starting to look like neon. That's really kind of cool. Let me go a little bit more and see what happens. And that's really the point of this. At a certain point, it's really going to start to feel to you as if it's neon. And that's when you have the right settings. You really have to play with these settings to get exactly what you want. I may also want to add a little bit of noise here, maybe 5% or so, 6%, 5%. And let me play with the size a little bit. Maybe it's a little bit under what I need. Let me go to point 0.1. doesn't really seem to make much of a difference. Let me go down a little bit. That's too much. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. That really, to me, looks like kind of a neon sort of look. Really kind of nice. Let me click OK and get my effects panel out of the way. Scroll back up and go into preview mode by hitting my W key and clicking off of my text frame. And it has kind of a nice glowing neon look. And it was all done right here in InDesign. So I didn't have to open up Photoshop to create artwork using these Photoshop effects because the Photoshop effects exist right in InDesign. 
And what's nice about that is if at some point I say, well, it's a little bit off, I can go into my effects panel, double click on the FX in the listing, and then just change whichever I want. Let me drag this down to the bottom over here. Maybe I want the outer glow to be a little bit more glowing, so I'm going to increase the opacity a bit. So you can see you can get very precise with this. I'm going to click OK, but if ever you're working on settings that are this complicated, so many different settings for two or more effects, and you might want to apply it again, let me click OK. I would save this as an object style. So the effect would be part of a text frame object style that possibly I could use again and again for, let's say, my headlines. So that is a really good time-saving thing to do, saving as an object style. In upcoming lessons, we'll begin discussing printing.